Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of The Backrooms 1998. If you've wondered why I haven't played any Backrooms horror games, I actually did a couple years ago. I played one called Day 7 from Puppet Combo, but that's before the big explosion, before the fad happened. Now there's tons of Backrooms horror games. This is the most famous one, I believe, or the most uh, popular one, rather. Uh, this was created by Steel Krill Studio, who is also behind a recent game called Trenches that I never ended up playing. I kept meaning to check it out, but didn't. And, uh, yeah, you're all caught up on the epic history here. Let's go ahead and play tape. This, uh, typeface, I believe, is like a VCR mono or something like that. I actually use it in my videos when I do flashbacks. What does that say? It says something about hearing from Mike. Oh, one of those games, huh? Be careful walking on garbage or piles. If you hear footsteps, that means enemies near. Press any key to play tape. Okay. I couldn't even read the tips. So if you're not familiar with what the back rooms are, if the game doesn't explain it, I will. <gasps> That's somebody's home video. And we are rolling. Nice one, Drake. Look at these fools trying to skate. <laughs> Come on, man, do something cool. You want to be famous, right? <laughs> oh yeah, Drake! Wow, Drake does not give a fuck about the guy recording the video. He is not talking to him at all. It's a one-way communication there. Oh. Uh, my head. Wait, what? What the hell is this? I can barely hear you, dude. Okay, so you wiped down the skateboard, and now you're in the back rooms. I see. Oh, do you see that microphone? That's me! That's me talking! So the game, uh, latches onto your microphone. Okay, so, yeah, if you're not familiar with the back rooms, I mean, it's... It's a, it's a liminal space, okay? Lots of, like, ugly, faded yellow wallpaper, and just, it goes on and on. It's like these places that you would see sometimes in, like, um, I don't know, maybe old office what? buildings. You could get stuck back there, but you're not alone. That's basically the whole idea, from what I understand. Let's uh, examine this. Cool. Angle head pocket flashlight. Thanks for telling me what type it was. You have found an angle head pocket flashlight. Terrific. Dude, I'm gonna get you killed. I'm not gonna shut up. Press one to use the flashlight. Flashlight requires batteries to operate. Okay, so it's some little kid in a yellow raincoat. Oh, I made new friends. His name, I think, was Lee or Liam. Don't remember. I am playing at his house, but it's cold down here in the basement. I wonder when he let me go home. Okay, well, that's disturbing. And there's, uh... Well, there's cockroaches or some other kind of filthy, disgusting bug. Good to see that somebody's paying the electric bills around here, so... You know, you would think that if these places were so abandoned that uh, the light bulbs would be burnt out, but that's not the case. Ew, dirty dishes. You don't have a kitchen or anything? Oh. It's boarded up right Guys? here. You think this is funny? Guys, do you think this is funny? Door is jammed. Remove the barricades blocking the door in order to open. Okay, I will try my best. I will try to do that. Uh, oh, you can throw amnesia style. I like it. Yeah, that's very similar to like amnesia the dark descent physics. Oh, it's a little darker back here. That's a rat. Hold shift to run. Running for long periods of time makes you run out of stamina and it makes noise. Anyone around? <laughs> wait, wait, what? It's disappearing and reappearing. I'm losing my mind. 
If this was a blooper team game, we would turn around right now and there'd be a wall. Ah, I was kind of hoping that that would happen. Let's take the crowbar. You found a small black crowbar for removing wooden boards. Thank you for explaining to me what a crowbar is. You have found a battery for a flashlight. All right. All right, let's remove these, shall we? Thank you for just letting me do all of them. No fuss, no muss. What was that? Your dirty footprints leave a trail. They can be used as an advantage to see which way you came from. Oh, nice. But they fade. I just noticed. Okay. Door's locked and needs a key in order to open. I see. Oh, we can hide under here maybe? Hide. Well, there's no reason to hide right now, right? At least that's what that's what I'm led to believe. Ooh. Flashlight. We actually don't need it. I thought we did because it was a little Hello? dark there. Is this a piano? You can also use control to sneak and avoid detection. I feel like I hear some, uh, oh. Oh, that's me getting in the locker. We don't need to do that yet. I do hear some music though. What is that? Some items also be interacted with. Some will be a point of interest. Oh no, the eyes are blacked out. Little Timmy when he was younger with his favorite jacket after eating his favorite lunch. Fried chicken. So happy. Love you, X. Okay. What is this? Yeah, I don't think we can use it. Like, like I don't think we can actually like manually tune it. So, that's that. Alright, let's go this way. Turning on my flashlight. You- You what? I just turned that off! T Stop that! Don't you do it! Huh? Don't you do it! That's what I thought. Guys, this isn't funny! Guys, this isn't funny! Dude, blow your nose, alright? Can open your inventory by pressing tab. Ooh, got it. Our objective, by the way, is to find a way out and escape. Gotta do both of those. Ah, I see. Charming. Little doll. What? What? What's going on? Ooh, shapely mannequin. Hey, you come here often? Ooh, another one. Surrounded by babes. Let's go. Do they move? <gasps> no, they don't. Well, where, where are the where are the male mannequins? The mannequins, if you will. Somebody somebody just rocked this. Yeah, well, I'm about to rock this. So, it's okay. You know, this is a big step down compared to compared to what's in here. I like these mannequins. I don't like this one. There's nothing in the head. Look at that. Okay, well, I don't want to come back here to see you turn your head around, okay? You got that, buddy? Alright. More dishes! Put away your dirty dishes! Oh, it's the key. What's this? It's like a photo album. Hmm. Another piano. Man, how'd they move it in here? Can you imagine? Pianos are heavy. Moving a giant piano back here and then just setting up a cover over it, never to be played. I'd be pissed. And just like if I were to move these uh, cabinets in here and then they aren't even used for anything, like what a waste. <gasps> Wait a second, it's gone. Ladies. Oh, he took all your heads! He's gonna take your heads. He took baby too. He took baby away. Oh. 
Oh, you also got your heads. All right, let's try to get back to the door, because I'd love to use... Oh, did you see that? That was cute. He was walking. A little baby walking. Hey, how is this moving? Is there a ghost? Oh yeah, you stop. You're gonna run into the corner, right? Let's see. It's back this way, yeah. Oh, hey, I saw that. Impossible. PT. His mother made a public plea to the killer to release her son, saying she just wanted him home so she could cook him his favorite meal, spicy fried chicken. Little Timmy's body was found. Spicy fried chicken, later, little Timmy. Near the Logan forest. He was found wearing his favorite yellow jacket and blue jean shorts. Okay, so Timmy was found with his little yellow jacket on. Oh my god. The mannequin has been dismembered. What a tragedy. Here's a yellow yellow raincoat. Yellow jacket. <gasps> hey, is that is that Timmy? He's, he's he ran around without a head on. Timmy. Hey, I can still get through here. It's a big idea. It's like someone tried to tip it over. Can I open this? Ooh, look! You can see you can see my feet. Why am I wearing? The wrong shoe on the wrong foot. Look at that. My left foot has the right shoe on it. Either that or it's a very different style. Don't you know that, John? You old man. All the kids are wearing the right shoe on their left foot now, and vice versa. It's a cool TikTok trend. Oh. Open. It's really cool. You wear the shoe you're not supposed to put on that foot. On it, Hello? it's a sign of rebellion. Hey, did you see somebody back here? Don't make a sound, it can hear, but no eyes. I miss you, I miss you. Oh, you think I'm you think I'm gonna stop talking? That's not happening. If you think anything is gonna make me stop talking, you gotta think I'm a black spray paint gun. Ooh, so like can be used for wall graffiti or for pathfinding or marking your way. Paint mode. You have to be like, yeah, you have to be like here. Okay, that's cool. I wish I could make the line thicker. Some furniture can be used to hide yourself, such as lockers and other tables. Thanks. I did figure that out. Ooh. You can save your progress only near a TV with a VHS tape player. However, what? What, what am I looking at here? Ooh, cool. I'm just kidding, I'm not doing that. Ah ha 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 ha. Oh, can you imagine if I did? YouTube would strike me down. Age restrict the video. How'd you get in there, by the way? What the hell? What the hell? Door is locked from the other side and cannot be opened. Oh, that's too bad. Hello? Red means scary, y'all. Ooh. Stepping on piles, glass, and garbage can make noise. You should evade them if you want to stay quiet. I want to stay quiet. <gasps> oh no, I stepped on it no matter what. You know what? I'm tired of the paint mode. You can use R and T to peek left and right. Peeking is a great way to... <gasps> Peeking is a great way to what? Who did you see that? Spooky! Guys? You think this is funny? <laughs> oh, wow. Very cool. You were at that for quite some time. I'm used to Q and E being lean, not R and T. R and T is just kind of out of the way. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, y'all? <gasps> We're gonna get got. Drake? I see you. Liam? Anyone? 
Yo, is it open? Oh, here, here, wait. We can, we can fix this. We can fix this. Wait. <laughs> wait. I. It's really hard. See, look. He said, "I don't see you." Oh. Oh, thanks for clarifying that. Okay. All right. I don't think we can actually do anything in here. Or unless this is like Harold in the purple crayon over here, we can just like draw ourselves a little key. There we go. Oh. Hey. We can go down here now. How the hell? Shut up. If we're gonna make noise, I wanna be the one talking. Oh wait, no. We don't wanna, we don't wanna run. Do you hear that? Look, somebody's there. Not anymore. I see you. Ah. Okay, I'm not gonna correct this one. Hmm. Wait, it says I see you again. Oh no, they're blooper teaming me. Wait a second, I turned around and it's different. Let's go this way. Um, hello. Hello. It's not okay. Yeah, I get it. You, you've told me four times you can see me. Do something about it, huh? Hey, wait a second. Look, look at the arrow. Wait, we're back here. Wait, what? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna run across the garbage. I need to get out of here right now. What do you think I'm trying to do, buddy? What you think whining and complaining is gonna help? Cause it's not. I haven't gone this way, so. He's really putting his foot down. I need to get out of here right now. Like it's gonna make me help him faster or something. Come on. Okay, let's do that. Open up. <gasps> but why? But why? Oh look, key. Picked up door key, thank you. Is there a different kind of key? Door is jammed, removing the barricades, blocking the door in order to open. Yeah, okay, I know, that's what I was doing. But why, it says again. If we close this, will it change the hallway? No. Okay, I'm not really sure what the point of that was. Ooh, look at the... Uh-oh. I don't know, buddy. Oh. Get in here. Ew. It was wearing a yellow raincoat, wasn't it? Is that little Timmy? He's a monster now! Good thing he can't hear me screaming away in this locker. What's going on over there? I better stay quiet. I need to control my breathing. Oh, sorry, you want me to stay quiet? I better control my breathing. Don't breathe too loud. Let's go back to let's go back to where we were. The camera's really jittery. What does it say right here? The arrows can guide you. Oh, is that what they're for? Oh my god. Look at all this. <laughs> this is a lot of strawberry jelly. I mean, maybe Timmy really likes the PB and J. But from what I can tell, he's got the ratio all off. He takes one bite. And this is what happens. The jelly explodes out the sides. That means that you don't have enough peanut butter or you have too much jelly. It's time to correct the ratio. What's in here? Ooh, cool, I can save. I'm gonna do that real quick. See this little devil's rejects guy over here. Please help. I am 
very cold. Please help. Uh. Oh, you want me to collect all the items? You want me to get six different items? Oh. You found a Polaroid picture clue. Shut up. I'm trying to concentrate. Ooh. Let's go in here. Huh? Huh? What? Sounds close. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him, look at him, look at him. He got tentacles. Can you hear me right now? Too bad he can't duck down, huh? Oh, that's too bad. Dead rat. <gasps> hey! A big rat? Oh, big rat in here! What's this? What is that health? Picked up medicine. Nice. Well, I'm not gonna go that way. Where'd that big rat go? Huh. Yeah, five all six items in the picture. Find bag, beanie, toy, family, jacket, and bracelet. Okay, I remember seeing the jacket. Do I have to go back for that? Or is it in this new area? Hmm. Damn, he killed enough rats in here? Shit. Don't step on that. Hmm. I have to figure out where everything is. Oh, there's a blood trail here. Probably on the right track. Let's get this, let's get this. What? Remove the barricades. Yeah. Bruh. I'm getting in here. Cause I think, I think he heard me go in here. Ugh. Okay. Now, oh, a battery. Um, now would you say that this was a bust because there's nothing in here? There's a foot, I guess. Creepy foot. Um, yeah, overall, not a good investment of time or energy. Actually, I hear it over here, so I'm gonna leave. I'm going the opposite way. Look, the arrows will guide us. The arrows will guide us. The family portrait is this way. Wait, how do I get in there? I need an item for this. Look, I need like a bolt cutter or something. Cut chain. Don't have a bolt cutter. The classic horror game. Mystery. Slash mistake. Very safe. Not very safe? Oh, yeah. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, poof, you just poofed on out of here, like they always do. No escape, just kill yourself. Key code 473. Oh my gosh. Got some medicine. And you found a sketchy hand-drawn map. <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh, it opened this door. I'm 
actually gonna go this way. You see that? Should I avoid those footsteps? Let's go this way. The arrows are pointing this direction. Ooh, there's a pool! Ugh, do I go down there and get something? Oh, oh yeah, I don't think so. Why? Look, they, they keep- they keep riding. Why? Why, oh why? A poop bucket? Did you poop in this bucket? No. Then what's it there for? You didn't poop in the bucket? Where do you poop then? In the pool? Oh, I'm definitely not going in there now. Hey guys, guess what? There's something over here. I promise. Look, I spray painted an arrow. Hmm. 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 <laughs> I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh, look. Sometimes the things you see in the shadows are more than just shadows. Sometimes the things you see in the shadows are more than just shadows. Hi, hey, buddy. Uh oh. Doing okay? Huh? I'm actually gonna go in here for a sec. I wanna take a look at um this map. Not the best readable map, but it is something it is hand drawn. Examine. Okay. Map was found here. Oh, uh, okay. Classroom. This is actually a pretty big map. A lot of it's crossed over though. Okay, so we're we're all the way over to the left there. See that little like <laughs> see this little area? <laughs> all the way to the left. And then there's a TV. Ooh, I need to go to the TV so I can save. Is this I should hide? Made some noise. Okay, I thought I knew where we were, but as it turns out, I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> you want me to go in there? Look, it's the good looking mannequins again. Hi. Great to see you. Oh. Ooh, got a new one. are gone. They like doing that. This is the second time they've done this. All their heads are gone. Help me, Jackie. Okay. Back in the pool area. We'll say help me, daddy. Is that what it said? Okay. I'm Go this way now. I haven't gone in here. Let's open this up. I think we got another toy. Ooh, TV! Yeah! Okay, so this is the TV. Alright, good. We got two of the objectives. Let's go in here and uh, take a look at things real quick. Okay, so that's the TV. So then actually... Oh, I was at the top. Earlier, I thought I was on the left, but I was at the top. We're in the TV now, and what we just got, we just got the train in that little place to the left. Okay, okay. Now, where else have we been? Apparently, map was found here, so I got that. Um, I don't know where anything else is. That's where we started, the, the part where it says totem, question mark. That's where we, we walked in, because there's a TV right there. Okay. So I probably haven't found... All this stuff on the left, I wonder, wonder all, what all that stuff is. It's all scribbled out, like it's all wrong. It says sometimes the walls changes, which is improper grammar, but we're gonna overlook that. The person was traumatized who wrote this. Let's see, clock and classroom, I haven't been over there. I haven't been on the right side, like, at all. I think I've been on the top and the left, and that's about it. So... 
Hmm. Okay, so we're back in the pool room now. Perfect. Now, I've got the yellow raincoat and the toy green car. Gotta find the bag, the beanie, the family, and the bracelet. If it wants his family, it means family portrait, right? I'm going this way. You can actually use the... the stuff on the ground if you walk over it. You can actually, like, go the other way. And you can bait it into following you the wrong direction. Not bad. Are you feeling your sanity? I don't know what that means. I'm curious if he's right there or right here. I think right here. Take a look here. Uh, where am I right now? Oh, is this it? Oh, it's dog. Dog picture frame. Not quite what we wanted. We wanted um, family picture frame. Hmm. Not safe. Now that's where I found the, that not safe area. That's where the map was found. Okay, okay. So we're up, we're up at the very top of the map right now. Just to give you an idea. Now it does say... This is where the family picture frame is, but we need a bolt cutter to get in there. So we need to come back for it. Okay. He was down there. He was coming down. We all good? Look, he came through this door. What the fuck? Well, how would you do that? Oh, shut up. Okay. I think we can go this way. It's hard to see. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. How many times is it going to pull that move on us? What is this? Huh. How many times is it going to pull the uh ooh, I'm a I'm a poofer. I'm going to I'm going to walk right back uh, right right past and then I'm going to disappear. Cuz it's doing that a lot. Damn, we can't seem to shake this guy. Baby. Ooh, battery. Oh, they they changed places. My God. Stop doing that. Hey. Orange man was here. Oh, brother. Okay. Let's go back this way, I guess. Oh, I think I'm in the upper right right here. In that little corner, in between the walls. I think that's where I am right now. Um, okay, then... I think I need to go to the right here. In order to get out. Okay, so we need to go to the right here. I think. Jesus. <sighs> oh, I can't move. Uh-oh. No. Okay. I couldn't move for a second. <laughs> Blood in that locker, huh? Will I go this way? Okay, wait. Nice, bro. Wait, where am I? I thought I knew where I was. There's, there's very few landmarks. Huh. Oh. We really need the bolt cutters. Keep 
keeps wanting me to slip through. I don't think I can do that. Can I slip through? Okay. Let's go back here. Here we go. Oh, okay, so it's not an actual creature, it's a mannequin. Or a wool mannequin, as it were. Do you remember now? Bruh, where the hell are the bolt cutters? We need those before we can go, like, anywhere. And I mean anywhere. Oh my gosh. Maybe in here? Hey. Four seven three. Right, right. Do we really need for that to keep happening? I'm just wondering. Okay, we got past that gate in the lower right, and then I think we're over at the bottom now. I know you can't see me. Oh, come on. The game is a good atmosphere, but it is kind of ruined by how many random jump scares there are. Oh. Hey. Got the beanie, nice. Okay, we got three of the items. We got half of them. Half of the items. Okay, I'll show you where I've been. I've been everywhere on the left side, I think, except maybe the like bottom left to the to the left of the totem. I don't think I've been there. I've been all around the top. I went around the very extreme right side. In all the bottom. I have not been around the middle, I have not been to that classroom or that clock yet. I'm wondering if maybe I should make my way back to the totem and put some of them on, save at the TV, and then try to make my way to the classroom and the clock in the middle, because I haven't been there. We need, so I've got three of the items. One of the other ones is the family photo, and that's at the very top beyond the blue uh, gate. So I know where that is, so I'm really just missing two. I'm missing the bolt cutters, and I'm missing two objectives, which isn't bad. Not a bad situation to find yourself in. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and take the VHS blur effects off. Um, in-game camera effects, I'm gonna also disable. And, yeah, because, I'm sorry, it's just... It's not like giving me a headache or anything, but it's just, oh, this is so much better. See? This is better. Yep, he's after me. Okay. Oh, clocks. Oh. Oh, oh. Need to go, 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 go. <laughs> Fucking shit, stop doing that. Guys, just irritating. Okay, we got one of them. <sighs> just one more, besides the bolt cutters. Hey. Something in here? I threw that, so he's gonna go over there now. Is it a feather? A syringe. I don't know where I am now. I just threw a bunch of boxes over there, so he's probably gonna go that way. Um, yeah, I missed I messed up where I was. I think I came out one side of the clock, and I thought it was the other. Wait, there's a gate right here. Okay, if that's if that's the gate. 
then that means that the clock room should be to my right up here. And it is. Okay. So if that's the case... Oh. If you're wondering what we missed when we picked up the backpack, they all just cornered in on us. Somebody played Condemned Criminal Origins, I see. Then that means... That... If I go straight here and to the left, I get to the classroom. Which has to have something significant in it. It's marked on the map, you know? So right here, this should be the classroom. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. Oh, the key code? I know the key code. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know it. Um... Joy box with padlock. It's 473, I believe. So how do I... Oh. Four... Seven... Three. Oh yeah. Um... How do you open this? Oh. Yeah. Good. Take that. Okay. So... I'm gonna go in here and just wait a second. Okay, I've, I've got five out of the six items. I just don't have the family frame. In order to get the family frame, I've gotta get past the gate. In order to get past the gate, I've gotta get something to cut the chain. Okay, uh, well that was annoying. Uh, I got five out of six of them. Okay, now I gotta go back and get the beanie, the bracelet, and the bag, which... Oh god, where am I actually? Where am I right now? It shouldn't take too long to get that, I know. now that I know where they are. Okay, I don't think I've gone this way. We just need a way to cut the chain now. That's really all I need. And then we'll be... On a roll. Did I, I hope I didn't miss it somewhere. I may have just walked past it. Although, there's so little around here. <laughs> yeah, keep walking. That's what I thought. Huh. There's so little around here that you'd think anything would stand out. Bolt cutters, which can be used for cutting loose change. Thank God. Now, where was this before I forget? It was like, right, it was to the left. Pool room's coming up. So the pool room is ahead. Why? Why is it doing that? Okay, yeah, here's the pool room. So I'm gonna cut through here. Oh, or maybe not. That's where he's going, too. Here we go, here we go. Family portrait. We got it. Yeah. Ooh. Don't do this to me. Don't you do this to me. 
Battery and health, thank you. And family, photo. Ah, oh, how sweet. Find a way to escape if you can. Oh. Okay. Now, I wonder if now this whole area that got scribbled out, if that's where you go now. Hmm. Because I kind of think that that must be what you do next. Or is that the way that we came in, maybe? What? Okay. And we are rolling. Nice one, Drake. Well, we already saw this at the beginning, so. Tools trying to skate. <laughs> Yep. Come on, man. Do something cool. I want to be We're famous, gonna see right? <laughs> something different now. Oh yeah, Drake. Woohoo! And this is where we wipe out, right? Uh huh. Oh shit. He's not breathing. He's not breathing. He broke his fucking neck. Oh my god. Shit. Now it really is like a blooper team game. Get out of here. <laughs> so they said, oh shit, it's bleeding. He's not breathing. Let's get out of here. So what? He fell and then his buds just left him? I guess it's... Thank you. Very enlightening. Hey Liam, Drake, come check out this little wimp. What a fucking idiot. Oh, that's Timmy. What are you <gasps> doing all alone here? Let's go fuck with him. <laughs> Grab the hammer. Liam, Grab the hammer. He's back. Let's go lock him up. <laughs> get the hammer, get the hammer, let's go. We were Let's the bad guy. In Liam's house. Have some fun with this little shit. We were the bad guy all along. Oh my god. What a twist. Almost a week had passed since the shocking, gruesome discovery of little Timmy. The 11 year old was walking on his way home when he most likely was kidnapped. His mother made a public plea to the killer to release her son, saying she just wanted him home so she could cook him his favorite meal. Spicy fried chicken. This is what we Little heard on the radio. Was found two days later, near the Lakeland Forest. He was found wearing his favorite yellow jacket and blue jean shorts. The same clothes he had been wearing at the time of the kidnapping. However, both of his arms and his head had been detached from his body. It is said that Little Timmy was most likely kidnapped and tortured. His severed head was found near his body, while his arms were found some distance away. An autopsy revealed that he had been knocked unconscious with a blunt object, such as a hammer. It is also believed that little Timmy may have been alive while his arms were severed, which could explain why his arms were found further from his body. Little Timmy most likely ran around, armless, for a few minutes, calling out for his parents to rescue him. To <laughs> why, why would they say this in the broadcast? From the loss of blood. That is the point at which the killers caught up to him and chopped off his head. The autopsy also revealed that his last meal had been spicy fried chicken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Liam Williams, 18, and Drake Salvatore, 19, were both charged for the kidnapping, torture, and brutal murder of Little Timmy. Full name, Little Timmy, by the way. After police found a VHS recording belonging to Paul Hart, also 19, after he was admitted to hospital from a skateboarding incident where he died from his injuries just minutes later. The VHS footage shows all of them involved with the kidnapping, captivity, torture, and the brutal murder of little Timmy. They stated that they were not that bad to him and also fed him his favorite food before the murder took place. Both Liam and Drake received the death sentence for the crime. Paul died from the skateboarding incident. 
Oh, look at this real kid, little Timmy. Little Timmy when he was younger. Well, yeah. Every photo is of you when you were younger. Location where Paul Hart, one of the killers, had the accident. Some of his blood can still be visible. This is a very, like, 1998 is right. This is a very 90s, uh, idea here of, like, skateboarders equals gang members. The real world is where the monsters are. Oh, okay. Thank you for playing. The game was developed by Ryan, a sole developer at Steel Krill Studio. The game was made using Unity Game Engine with the help of other amazing artists credited below. All right, well... Backrooms, 1998. So I originally was planning on doing like a... Uh, three random Backrooms horror games. I still might do it, but... This is... I'll be honest, the Backrooms have never really interested me that much. I played, uh, was it Day 7 from Puppet Combo, like I mentioned earlier. And that's, uh, that was about as much as I wanted out of Backrooms. They just... The Backrooms are like every other indie horror game in that they're, it's like empty, dark hallways, maze of hallways and rooms where you have to do fetch quests and there's a monster. Except in the Backrooms horror games, there's a peeling, ugly yellow wallpaper. That's basically the only difference. So, I never really understood the, the hype behind the concept. Um, as for this game, I've heard from a lot of people that this is, like, a good one. Of the- because there's a lot of bad Backrooms horror games, apparently. I will say, um, it wasn't bad. It had some good atmosphere. And I liked the monster. I thought, you know, the whole, like, audio, like, portion of the game. And a lot of the visuals, too, were really well done. The problem for me came when it was, like, constant jump scares, which you don't need. Um, I can understand having some jump scares. I'm a- I'm a firm defender of jump scares. I think you need some jump scares or, or- or some other way to pay off the tension and atmosphere that you're building in a horror game. But, when you constantly are paying it off, then you're not allowing it any time to build up. Think of it like a loading bar, okay? Like, you spend the game building up the bar, 10%, 20%, 30%, right? But if you're constantly resetting the bar to zero with a jump scare, you're never gonna build up that much tension, right? If you let it go all the way to like 90 or something though, before you do a jump scare or some kind of payoff and then it resets to zero, then it's a lot more satisfying. But every time you do a jump scare, it reduces the tension back to the beginning and you have to start all over with the build up. At least that's how I, view it. Uh, this sort of thing is subjective, but with the constant jump scares, it was like resetting to zero the tension over and over and over again, and it was a shame because I thought overall the atmosphere was pretty good. And, you know, I know they have no jump scare mode, and that might be the way to play this game if you want to have a better experience, but uh, yeah, overall, you know, there's not much to this game. It's kind of a maze, but at least there's a map. If I didn't have the map, I would be so annoyed. Uh, you, know, you find six items, it's basically like Slender the Eight Pages. It's it's very simple, but um, you know, I, I do like what they did with the concept, and overall the presentation was very well done. Just the jump scares kind of ruined it. It also ended very suddenly. I kind of wasn't expecting. Like I was, I had the map up and I was planning my escape route, which I apparently didn't need to do. So I might have missed something on the screen. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on the Backrooms 1998. It was okay. Not going to, you know, voraciously recommend it to everyone to play. Uh, but it wasn't bad. So let me know what y'all think in the comments, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Think critically.